Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. It is uh, summertime here and uh, it is prime uh, garage sale and auction season. And uh, there's a lot of things to be found in these old farming communities that could be extremely beneficial if there's some type of long-term um, SHTF uh, event where people had to go back uh, to the old ways. And uh, there were certain things my mom always looked for at these different um, sales and stuff, old hand tools, um, old cast iron, and Crocs. And uh, wanted to uh, take a minute here to show you some couple old Crocs that I got. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, clean these up and restore these so they could be um, used again. You guys don't, uh, don't have to be told that I like uh, anything older. I think that older tools and older pieces of cookware are... Uh, that stuff was built to uh, last a lot more than the new stuff that you get today. So I think if there's some type of uh, event or grid down, these older, what we would consider antiques now, are actually going to be better for... Um, utilization and actually using because uh, these things were built to last and they were built to basically use for a lifetime. I got a couple of old Crocs here that have been abused and misused and we're going to actually clean these guys up sort of how mom used to do it. Um, a lot of Crocs would uh, would have been used to store fat or lard meat, that kind of stuff in. So there's always a chance that these guys here, and smaller Crocs like this were typically weren't used for fermenting. Crocs for fermenting were always larger, two, three gallon Crocs, maybe even larger. Like if you wanted to uh, brine meat or make uh, corned beef or brisket and stuff, those were all larger Crocs because they had to be, you know, to hold a, hold a peck of uh, cucumbers or... Uh, hold like a shoulder or a, a brisket if you're making corned beef. But these smaller crocs here were used a lot for fats and lards, which means there could be some type of rancid residue or whatnot in these. So basically what mom would do is she would wash, scrub these out after she rinsed them off, just a basic rinse off. And uh, she'd let them soak for a little bit, let the detergent draw out any fat that might be on this. And then she would take... Um, scalding hot water and put in there and again that scalding hot water would help lift any type of fat or um residue from uh what might have been in this lift that out so anyway we're going to rinse these guys off here we're going to get these in the house we're going to get them washed up we're going to get some scalding water in here see if i can't bring these guys back to life for you guys All right, guys, we have uh, rinsed these Crocs off with the uh, garden hose just to get some of the uh, gunk off of them. And uh, we got them in the uh, sink in the kitchen now. And I'm actually going to uh, fill this uh, sink up with uh, warm, soapy water. For stuff like this, I like using uh, Dawn dish detergent so it uh, cuts that uh, grease and kind of breaks down that uh, fat layer that's on these Crocs. One thing I want to show you here, you can see how that water is beaten up on the bottom of that Croc. That's uh, pretty indicative that there was some type of fat stored in this Croc or this Croc had larded meat in it at one point in time. That water beaten up is because of uh, sort of that microscopic fat layer that's on this croc. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this in warm um, soapy detergent water. I'm going to do a, a good scrub down on it. And then when I got everything scrubbed off good, I'm going to take a couple of uh, tea kettles of hot water. And I'm going to put that in these crocs to help lift some more of that uh, sort of microscopic fat layer off these crocs so they can be used for other things. Um, you want to... When these crocs get warm, you want to kind of keep them warm to uh, aid with that process. Of course, you don't want to put scalding hot water in cold crocs. You could shock them and break them, so you don't want to do that. You want to do everything uh, warm. Another thing, too, is, is you don't want to use your uh, good kitchen sponge or scrubby for this. Um, you want to use uh, kind of an older one because it will be junk when you're done um, scrubbing all this gunk and uh, fat and old residue off of these crocs anyway we're going to get some warm water in here and some detergent and get these guys cleaned up for you
All right, we got everything uh, scrubbed down now good. We got our detergent in, uh, in the Crocs and around the Crocs. Now we're just gonna add our tea kettle full of scalding hot water. Then we're just gonna let everything soak and uh, let the uh, detergent and the water and the heat do its job. All right, guys, these uh, Crocs had a chance to soak quite a while. I did a real good scrub on them, and then I soaked them in uh, scalding hot water. And as you can see, they actually cleaned up uh, quite nicely. This one especially uh, did a really good job of cleaning up. This one right here is really can be used for just about uh, anything. And this one here, this is actually a quite a bit older Croc, I believe, or, you know, I'm no expert in Crocs, but from the Crocs that I've seen, I believe that this one is older than the other one. And uh, the cleaning actually revealed a small superficial crack there in uh, the glaze. Now, this guy here wouldn't be uh, probably suitable anymore for any type of liquid, but it could definitely hold uh, dry stuff. But you can see here, Still got a little discoloration on it, and that's just from the age of the crock. But this guy here, that uh, kind of slick film that was on that from it being stored fat, that's all uh, been taken off. And like I said, this crock here can be used for pretty much anything dry you can uh, store in this now. And this one here can really be used for um, anything. But I just thought I'd take a uh, quick minute here to show you guys how to restore a crock and kind of bring it back to life. So. It could be uh, used again. These guys in here are going to go down in uh, my pantry, and uh, whatever I need a crock for, they'll be uh, they'll be available. Anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment, some ideas as always out of my videos. Just showing you guys how to bring old crocks back to life. You have a good one.